I want to start by thanking the Metro Council, Councilman Cohn, and the co-sponsors for formally introducing the lowest law enforcement priority ordinance tonight. I also want to thank Councilwoman Green, unfortunately she's not here, for allowing me to present information in front of the Public Safety Committee supporting this ordinance. But the people I want to thank the most are the people sitting back here who have poured their hearts out to this council since August of last year. It takes a lot of courage to stand up to government oppression and to stand up for your rights. These folks back here are special people and I'm honored to stand with them. Cannabis prohibition is government oppression. The change that's coming across the country and around the world is because the prohibition is a mistake. It's a mistake because it violates fundamental freedoms. And instead of discussing medical marijuana, we should be discussing the focus should be on the consequences of prohibiting a safer choice. The information that I provided to you at the public safety uh, meeting is everything you need to pass the LLEPO unanimously. We need to send a strong message to Louisville or to uh, Kentucky, uh, Frankfurt, and to Washington that Louisville's ready to move into the 21st century on this issue. The data speaks for itself. There is no boogeyman. Legalization has improved social metrics like overdose fatalities and traffic fatalities. There's also a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. I sent the members of the Public Safety Committee a story from Aurora, Colorado, where they're building a $34 million recreational complex solely on taxes they collected from cannabis. We're closing pools here. The change is obvious that we need to make. Passing LLEPO is only a small step towards the path to a retail cannabis market, but it's an important step because it moves us past the discussion of medical marijuana and into the property. Cannabis is safer than alcohol, prescription drugs, and even over-the-counter drugs. The Kentucky Constitution is very clear on the citizens' rights to pursue safety. Chief Conrad said he has to enforce the laws. Well, guess what, Chief? This is the law. This is the highest law of the land. Our country was founded on individual freedoms. The greatest failure of governance in the United States is the judiciary because these laws should have been struck down many years ago. If you have any questions or you're thinking about voting against this ordinance, please call me. I'll be happy to meet with you. What you folks should do is support me going to Frankfurt and to Washington to give the same testimony there that I gave to you because I have a dream. And my dream is that we could come from being way behind on this issue to leading the nation out of the country's failed drug policies, and I'm the guy who can do it. Thank you.